appears. not the biggest smallmouth in the lake, but it's the first fish of the morning. But I really want to make a vid video, <laughs> start over, I really want to make a video talking about this St. Croix Legend Tournament rod. It's one of my favorite rods in, the, uh, in their lineup. It's really... A versatile rod. You can see here I'm actually throwing an underspin. This is a Great Lakes Finesse uh, drop minnow that I actually helped design. It's been a great bait for me uh, for catching smallmouth. And there's a number of ways to fish this. We can get into that too. But this is the uh, the hair jig rod. So it's specifically designed to throw hair jigs, but it's also a great rod for throwing finesse swim baits, underspins, things like that. We're definitely going to throw some hair today with it as well, but I'm just going to walk you through my setup and hopefully catch a few fish. It's all coming up. So I'm in a shallow bay right now. I'm in about 11 feet of water. I'm using my live scope and I can see some fish that are actually suspended. They're about three to four feet up off the bottom. And throw. so I'm just throwing this underspin around them. In fact, let me grab my camera and show you what I'm looking at here. I have my 360, which is allowing me to see some of the rock that's over here. I've never fished in a bay before, so I'm really relying on the front. Over here, I have a live scope that's mounted on that cornfield crappie pole. That's the fish I'm targeting right out there. So this is 50 feet out, that direction of the air. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Perfect. That should be right where those fish were. Just count it down just a little bit and just start reeling real slow. Rod tip down. And there he is. I love how how this rod just kind of absorbs these fish when they want to make a long run or jump. It's just the perfect action for this. And there is our fish. Simple as that. At times, times it's simple. Alright, 
I'm actually gonna keep uh, keep looking. I I've never fished in here this time of year, so uh, water's not super clear. So I'm just gonna use my electronics and try to find just some shallow areas with rock, and then we're gonna live scope it and hopefully catch some more fish. So I'm relying on my map. I see there's a shallow spot up here that might hold some fish. I have my side image here. And you can see there's not a whole lot going on on the bottom. But I like to find a little bit of rock to get me excited this time of year. Not saying they won't be on this, but I don't have time to sit there and search all of this. I'm just going to go to higher percentage spots for me. So we're just going to keep driving. We're going to head out to here. That's where those fish were. We're going to check out this little spot here. fish are not that big right now. I'm not concerned, but if we don't find any bigger size smallmouth, we're going to keep moving. So I have a whole pack of these drop minnows in a, a variety of different colors. Today I'm going black with the black underspin, 3 16th ounce. straight just like that and so what I'm doing is just making a steady retrieve and this underspin is just spinning giving a little bit of flash now my setup for this rod I'm using a Vanford 3000 I've got five pound Cortland master braid in white anytime I'm fishing something in the water column where I'm swimming it through horizontally I'm going to use white. I feel like white blends in with the sky when they look up. Obviously I have a leader on it. I have an 8 pound fluorocarbon leader. It's probably, I would say 6 feet long or so. This rod is actually 7 foot 10. Uh, this is a medium light St. Croix Legend Tournament hair jig rod. And I promise we're going to throw some hair on it in a little bit, but I'm going to keep going with this for a little, for a little while. See that? I just sped it up just a little bit and there was a fish following it. And he bit. So I switched over to a hair jig, which is ultimately what this rod is designed to do. And uh, got another little guy here. It's not huge, but it's just a uh, eighth ounce black hair jig, and I put a little bit of plastic 
up on the shank of that hook to give it a little bit more weight, just to give some weight only. But this rod is going to allow you to make really long cast and effectively throw that hair jig as far as you can away from the boat. A lot of times we're fishing hair jigs in clear water and you just want a rod that's going to be able to launch those hair jigs way, way out there. Same deal, five pound Cortland braid, eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And you can launch any of these finesse baits super far with this exact rod here. Just make a long cast, rod tip down with this hair jig just a real slow steady retrieve. I'm swimming it super slow. You just want to keep it moving but super slow and there's one right there. like that. Hoping there's some bigger fish around. Long cast, rod tip down, super slow. And then when you get a bite, I just reel into the fish and lean back. I'm not setting a hook or anything like that. All right guys, I want you to pay attention on how I set the hook on this next fish, okay? Just pull into them and then keep, keep it tight. This is a good fish here. Better. There he is. Fun, but they're not that big right now. Medium 
size smallmouth today, but if we get around the right ones, they will devour this. All right, guys, the St. Croix Legend Tournament Rod set up perfectly. Small swim baits, hair jigs. It's gonna launch those baits super far. Make sure you just steady retrieve real slow and set that hook right. That's all we got, quick video. We're gonna try to go find some bigger fish, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave any likes and comments, and as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.